And here we go. How's it driving, John? Pretty easy? Driving good. And I'll tell you, Andy's never seen a driver like this. Barney Oldfield. Barely, what should we be heading for? Those craters up there. Oh, don't tell me that. Boy, this is so neat. You look like you hit it just about for our spot. See Survey Ridge down there? Yeah. This is going to be spectacular. No, not through this crater. Yeah. Woo. Let me see if you're nervous, Charlie. Oh, Barney's really driving this beauty. Only way to fly, Tony. And, and boy, this is going to be such a spectacular view. You can't believe it. Oh, that's good news. We are here. You, you did it. Hey, that was a good stop. Those wheels just locked. Mark off. Super. Uh, John, did you hey, touch that TV lens? Get the dirt in your eye, Houston. Hey, that does a good job on the lens there. You want us to go up and travel along that ridge? Yeah, why don't you press on up there? I think that the uh, best place here for... Uh, the step is to the limb, uh, 11 o'clock position. That sounds good, Charlie. And John, it's 266. I felt very welcome there. You know, the moon's been waiting for us for thousands of years. Millions of years, maybe. Unless someone else has already been there before us at some time, that's possible. Although we didn't see any evidence of that. Felt like I was the only one there, but not an alien. Not an alien in terms of invading someone else's domain. I didn't find the moon hostile, or I found it very majestically beautiful. Bland in color, but majestically beautiful. There's a look at that glass covered one right there, John. Pretty good size, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like it's about three days old. So it must be on the order of four billion. Let's fill this one up. And then, uh, uh, ah, rat. Bet you that looks like a comedy of errors on a tube. Yeah. Oh, still. That is a crystalline rock, if I've ever seen a crystalline rock. First one today. Yeah. We got to get over this ridge, John. You want to take off and go that way now? Yeah. Hey, John, did you make those little footprints here around the sun? Yeah, I guess you did. Ah, uh, the old footprints on a crater rim. There's a good rock right there. Look at the size of that rock. I thought this thing was just right next door to us. Well, Tony, that's your house rock right there. got black streaks uh, coming out of it. Uh... And this is tough going here. So let me have the shovel. Oh, I'll get it, ma'am. Just a minute. Good deal, boy. There you go. I can't get going here. Okay, and you've got about 10 minutes left before we'll have to leave. Is that okay for you? Yep, it sure is. 338 is the soil sample. That is the best sample we got. I know it. I'll tell you. You just had to steal time now and then. You just had to stop chipping at a rock and figure out that bringing back a little bit of, of some kind of thought and feeling was as important as bringing another chunk of rock back. And not being a machine, but being a human being, you have to stop and say, do you know where you are and what you're looking at? And try and take in, in those few moments of privacy you have, everything there is to take in in that moment. And you've got five minutes here. And all of a sudden, you've got to get to work. Okay, Houston, as I stand out here in the wonders of the unknown in Hadley, I realize there's a fundamental truth to our nature. 
man must explore. One of the things you got to stop and do, make sure, is to have fun, too. Because you're only probably going to come this way once. I was strolling on the moon one day in a merry, merry month of December. Now, May, May, when they're much to my surprise, a pair of bunny eyes. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, is this a neat way to travel? Isn't it great? Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. I like to skip along, but me, boy, skip. Or whatever you call it. I can't get my left leg in front of me. It was almost dangerous. And you lose sight of the fact that it's a vacuum out there, and if you spring a leak next to it, you're gonna be dead. Uh-oh. gotten away from the spacecraft, I was able to really realize what this place was like that we had landed in. I had tried to anticipate what it would be like for many years, but it was obvious that there was no way one could have anticipated what it would be like to stand in the valley of uh, Taurus Littrell, a place deeper than the Grand Canyon and equally as spectacular, see this brilliantly illuminated landscape with a brighter sun than anyone had ever stood in before, with a blacker than black sky. And then to top the whole scene off in this blacker than black sky was a beautiful, brilliantly illuminated blue marble that we call the Earth. The path of evolution is now in space, as much as on Earth. Man has showed that uh, as a species, mankind was willing to commit itself to living in environments that were completely different than those in which the species evolved. We put a shield of life around ourselves in order to protect uh, the life within, but the willingness to go out there is there. We've shown that. And the curve of human evolution has been bent. Okay, I'm it's time to load up right now. Hey, we're on. 